Hi, this is David Sachs. I'm the founder and CEO of Yammer, the Enterprise Social Network, previously the first uh, COO of PayPal. Um, I've also uh, produced a movie called Thank You for Smoking. And um, the, one of the, the rules in Hollywood for pitching an idea is you have to be able to do it in 25 words or less. I'm here with the founders of Speak. Danny, John, can you guys pitch your idea in 25 words or less? Uh, I'll try. Um, so Speak is a, a simple conference calling service. It allows you to join a call in less than five, six from a, uh, five seconds from any device. And it gives you a visual interface where you can see who's on the call, you can see who's talking, share files, um, and confirm identities of users. Is, is there any plug-in? Or are you 100% browser-based? How, how do you um, deal with the, the latency quality issue? Yeah, it's a great question. I, as the CTO, I should probably, probably jump in and take it. We do a couple different things. So you can join a speak call through any method you prefer. So you can join using the telephone network. So we'll call your phone. Um, if, you have, if you use one of our native mobile apps, it'll actually dial in through the telephone network to the conference call with a button click. So that's just using the telephone network. Um, and, th and through that, it's, it's the same latency you would have if you're talking to someone one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and, and it's very, very clear. Um, we also do voice over IP, which is closer to this, this experience. Um, we're using a new technology called WebRTC, so it's actually built into the browser. Um, so on Chrome, there's, you know, for example, there's no plugin. You don't use Flash. You don't use other, you know, additional um, third-party software. And we've experienced very little latency. It's almost CD quality audio, and it's really dependent on the user's internet connection. But it's not as finicky. I mean, it, you can be on a I've tried it from an LTE or 4G connection on a mobile phone, and it's it sounded great. Um, so audio takes up a lot less bandwidth than you would, most people would assume, uh, and the quality is actually much better through our voice over IP software than it would be through the um, even through the telephone network. I see. So is is um, is speaking an audio only solution, or do you do the webcam video too? Yeah, so we do, we've very deliberately decided to focus audio only. Um, we thought that the fact that the main benefit according to our users is that joining a conference call through Speak is faster and easier than dialing a phone number and a PIN. Um, that we heard time and time again. So, so who, who are your main competitors in this space? You know, about 10 years ago, um, I invested in a, a company called TalkBox, T-O-K-B-O-X, which was going to be oh, yeah. on YouTube for conference calling. Are you guys familiar with that one? Yep. And sure. they didn't require any downloads. Yeah, they didn't require any downloads e either. You could just talk to people. It was full audio and video. Uh, it just required a, a it just required flash. Uh, and I think that company maybe was too ahead of its time because it didn't um, I think I lost money on that deal. But uh, what um, what what makes this the right time for for your solution? Sure. So uh, Asking about our competitors, it's really it's it's a traditional phone uh, phone number and a pin. So we ask our customers, like, who would you use if you didn't use Speak? Um, and 90% of the time, they'll 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 mention a solution that has a phone number and a pin. So it's really against the very antiquated kind of traditional conference calling services that virtually every business professional uh, uses today. To a lesser extent, it's solutions like Skype or Hangout, Google Hangouts, and um, or a screen sharing solution like uh, Join Me, but those are used for kind of more particular situations. Um, so th those are our competitors. Um, and in terms of how we differentiate versus the traditional experience, it's really about ease of joining the call. It's uh, moving the entire experience to the web. So the existing experience, it, it works only on the phone system, so we're able to take advantage of modern technologies like VoIP. We're able to connect it to services that people use today, such as Dropbox for file sharing, and then soon other services um, like a Salesforce.com, for example. Um, and we're able to uh, link to your social networks and things like that to help kind of um, give context to the people that you're talking to, uh, connections to LinkedIn and things like that. So we're able to really kind of completely upgrade this experience and bring it into the, the modern era, if you will. And is Google Hangouts a competitor? How do you see them? I, we don't see that mentioned as much as a, as a competitor. It's used um, by teams within companies, um, but it's not a general purpose conference calling solution. I, I almost never receive a Hangouts uh, from any partner or anybody external to my company 
as uh, for our conference call. So um, for us, it needs to work across all kinds of devices. It doesn't need to require you to have a, re a registered user or be a registered user. Um, so uh, we kind of uh, simplify it in almost every situation. Uh, so it's really easy for people to participate. And speaking of ease of participation, there, there's no issue with people being on Wi-Fi? No, no Wi-Fi works don't great. Have that problem. Go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say, we don't have that problem. You don't need a headset either. But, um, by the way, I love Spreecast too. I'm not trying to, I'm an investor in Spreecast. I'm not trying to oh, sorry. bash Spreecast, so I love them too. But, uh, but I think, you know, it is a, I, th I think you guys have made a very interesting choice to not do video in the interest of making the audio experience just as perfect as possible. Is that sort That's of a right. fundamental it, business decision you had to make? Yeah, as, it's very deliberate. Um, the reason is, if you just look at most um, meetings that people have today, the vast majority of meetings, um, I would say 80, 90 percent of them, only require an audio bridge to the outside world. And then there's a smaller percent that requires a screen share or a video. But uh, those latter two are, are by far the, the minority of, of calls. And if you look at the different um, uh, solutions in those market spaces, conference calling is probably the, the easiest um, to kind of disrupt, if you will. It hasn't changed in about 20, 30 years. Um, so we feel like we're, we're attacking the largest uh, part of the market and we're able to differentiate with a solution that's just vastly better. Um, and that's what our customers are telling us every day. Great. So who do you sell this to? Uh, so we sell um, uh, primarily to small businesses. Uh, so, and there's really a psychographic difference uh, in the customer base. So it's, it's the early adopters. It's probably the, the initial users of a Yammer product or a Dropbox. Um, is uh, we sell very well to uh, startups, to accelerators, to venture capital firms uh, in these startup communities in urban areas such as New York and Washington D.C., Seattle, San Francisco, um, and so in, a, in kind of a very targeted way, um, we reach those users. But we also see we see it in pockets, say um, people who are early adopters in a tech firm like a Living Social or a Black a Blackboard or. Um, any type of firm where um, they allow their employees to use any, any solution uh, to get their job done. So we're seeing it in pockets of, of larger companies. And do you offer it on a freemium basis? Absolutely. So, so what's, the, what's the model? Yep. So the model is, it's a freemium model. Um, so you can use it for free, up to five callers. Um, we have a paywall, so if you want to use it uh, for larger calls, then you pay us uh, $10 a month. So uh, we just released uh, our pro version in May, and so far uh, uptake has been really good. Great. Is there any anything else that uh, that uh, the audience should know? Sure. So we're releasing new stuff on Speak every single day, whether it's new features, um, news, uh, usability changes, improvements, um, literally daily. So check it out. Give it a try. It's free to try. Get your Speak link now before someone else gets it. Great. Well, thanks guys very much. You know, I think you've made a very interesting choice in your business, which is to deliberately limit the sort of universe of functionality. I think a lot of people going after this space, whether it was Talkbox 10 years ago or Google Hangouts, they're trying to do everything, audio, video, presentation, the full, the full range of functionality. I think by choosing to specialize on audio, um, I think it's a really interesting business decision. And um, I look forward to seeing how it, how it does in the marketplace. So um, thanks very much for being here. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Time. We really appreciate it.